everyone, this is Teacher Geraldine. Today, I will discuss the lessons for this week, so please watch the whole video. We are proud of the people who make up our nation. We respect each other. We love the animals and plants of our land. We are proud of the beautiful places in our country and of our dances, songs, games, and festivals. We raise our national flag with great pride and we sing our national anthem with feeling. Our Living Symbols Among our living symbols are these Filipinos we can be proud of. First, we have Lapu-Lapu. Lapu-Lapu was a chief of the island of Mactan in Cebu. When Ferdinand Magellan and his Spanish soldiers and sailors came to take our country by force, Lapu-Lapu and his men fought and killed many of them. Next, Gabriela Silang. Gabriela Silang fought for our freedom from Spain. She led the Ilocanos in their fight against Spanish rule. Then we have Andres Bonifacio. Andres Bonifacio founded the Katipunan. This was a secret society of brave Filipinos who fought for our freedom from Spain. Next, Melchora Aquino. Melchora Aquino was a good friend of the Katipuneros. She gave them food. She took care of their wounded and sick. They called her Tandang Sora. She was a kind and brave woman. Next is Sultan Kudarat. Sultan Kudarat was a brave leader of the Muslims in Mindanao. He led them against the Spanish armies who tried to conquer Mindanao. Next, Emilio Aguinaldo. Emilio Aguinaldo bravely led the Filipinos in the fight for freedom from the Spanish and American colonizers. Lastly, we have Jose Rizal. Jose Rizal is our national hero. Through his writings, he fought for the rights of the Filipinos. He was shot by the Spaniards at Bagumbayan, now called Luneta or Rizal Park. Every Filipino child, woman, and man is a living symbol of our nation. That is why we need to love and care for each other. Now let's proceed to our national symbols. We also have several national symbols. The Philippine flag is the symbol of our country. Its main colors are red, white, and blue. Red stands for bravery. White stands for purity, and blue stands for peace. There are also three stars and a sun. The sun stands for one national government. The three stars stands for Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. The eight rays of the sun stand for the first eight provinces that revolted against Spain. These are Manila, Cavite, Laguna, Bulacan, Pampanga, Tarlac, Batangas, and Nueva Ecija. Next is Lupang Hinirang. Lupang Hinirang is our national anthem. We sing it during flag ceremonies. It expresses our love for and loyalty to our country. We stand straight and put our right hand over our heart when we sing it. We sing it with pride. Here are some other national symbols in our country. The first one, the Philippine Eagle. The Philippine Eagle is our national bird. It is a strong and beautiful bird. It is also called Haribon, which means King of Birds. Next is Mango. The mango is our national fruit. It is very popular in our country. It is golden yellow and tastes sweet when ripe. Next, the carabao. The carabao is our national animal. It is very important to the Filipino farmer. It helps plow the fields. It is strong and patient. 
It can carry heavy loads. Next is bangus. The bangus is our national fish. It is found in the seawater and also in fresh water. Next, sampagita. The sampagita is our national flower. It is small and white. It has a sweet and fragrant smell. Sampagita garlands are offered to visitors of our country to welcome them. The Senate approved a bill declaring the Waling Waling, the Queen of Philippine Orchids, a national flower alongside the Sampagita. Next, Nara. The Nara is our national tree. Its wood is hard and durable. It is used to make beautiful furniture. Next, the Anahaw. The Anahaw is our national leaf. It is big and is used for making fans and other products. We also have Cariñosa as our national dance. Our niece is our national martial art and sport. Players use wooden sticks in playing our niece. The Barong Tagalog and the Baro at Saya are our national costumes. Other symbols. Singkil is a famous traditional Muslim dance. Tinikling. It is a very popular folk dance among Filipinos. It is danced with quick jumping steps between two bamboo poles. Next is Sungka. It is played on a wooden board with seven small pits on both sides and one big pit on each end. It used to be a favorite indoor game among many Filipinos. Also, people in different parts of our country have different religious beliefs. They go to different places to pray and worship. The mosque is a sacred place for Muslims. This is where they pray. Everyone should respect this holy place. Christians in the Philippines belong to different churches. Among these are the Catholic Church, the various Protestant churches, and the Iglesia Ni Cristo. We must always respect all churches. Other Filipinos practice Buddhism. They go to a Buddhist temple to pray. We should also respect this place. Next, the Lumads. The Lumads are the native inhabitants of Mindanao. They have lived there even before the Spaniards came. The Lumad tribes of Mindanao consider Mount Apo as a holy mountain. It serves as the burial site of their ancestors. We should respect this place sacred to the Lumads. Then there is the Bible. It is a holy book that contains the teachings of God. Christians read it for enlightened men. And lastly, the Quran. It is the holy book of Islam. It contains the teachings of Allah as revealed to the Prophet Muhammad. Muslims read it for guidance and inspiration. Now let's proceed to our next topic about this beautiful land. The Philippines is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Strong and durable wood from our trees is known all over the world. Different plants grow in our land. Many kinds of fish live in our seas. Various water creatures live in our coral reefs. Wild and rare animals roam our forests. Beautiful birds fly in our forests and mountain areas. The following are some of the beautiful places in our country. First, we have the rice terraces in the Cordilleras. The Ifugaos plant rice on these terraces. Their ancestors built the terraces hundreds of years ago. Next is Mayon Volcano. It is found in the province of Albay in Bicol region. It is famous for its almost perfect cone. From afar, it looks beautiful and harmless, but when it erupts, it destroys the farms around it. 
Next is Mount Apo. Mount Apo is the highest mountain in the Philippines. It is home to thousands of lumads in Mindanao. The lumads treat Mount Apo as the sacred home of their ancestors. Thousands of plants and animals grow and live on the mountain. Many streams also flow down the mountain. This gives precious water to the provinces of Dabao and Cotabato. Next is the Sulu Sea. The Sulu Sea surrounds the Sulu Islands in southern Mindanao. Many kinds of fish and other sea animals and plants are found in its waters. This serve as food for the people. This are also sold to other countries. Next is the Chocolate Hills. Chocolate Hills are found on the island of Bohol in the Visayas. They are called such because they are shaped like chocolate mounds and there are times when they look brown from afar. Many Filipinos and foreigners go to Bohol to see these beautiful hills. Next, Palawan. Palawan is one of the most beautiful islands in the Philippines. It has lush forests. It also has underground caves and rivers. The local government of Palawan does its best to keep the island clean. But some of its parts are being destroyed by logging. We Filipinos should ask our government to protect the beautiful natural resources of Palawan. There are also many historical places in the Philippines. Here are some that can be found in Metro Manila. First, Fort Santiago. Fort Santiago in Intramuros is an old historical area. It was built during the Spanish time. Today, People visit this place to know the events that took place in the Philippines over 300 years ago. Next is Rizal Park. Rizal Park is another famous historical place in Manila. People used to call it Bagumbayan or Luneta. Dr. Jose Rizal, who revealed in his writings the cruelty of the Spaniards to the Filipinos, was shot here. Next, the sculptures at the Pugadlawin Shrine in Quezon City serve as a memorial for Andres Bonifacio, the founder of the Katipunan, and the Katipuneros who fought the Spaniards. And lastly, the Malacanang Palace. The Malacanang Palace stands beside the Pasig River. It is where the President of the Philippines lives and works. So those are the lessons for this week. Again, this is Teacher Jack. See you next time!